So I'm doing spring cleaning today and tomorrow before I get more foster kittens. So this is Beauty's house. It's so beautifully made um, and signed by the artist. Um, so I clean the inside, I clean the flaps. That one's still kind of yellow. This, this was like scratched up. So I, I made a window for them. So it's like they have a little window to look out, kind of. This big piece of wood goes back on top of here because, you know, if this house wouldn't have lasted this long. It wouldn't have lasted a whole winter with a plastic top not covered up. Unfortunately, wood is soaking wet still. This one's nice and thick, though. I'm, I'm going to put it back and hope it lasts. So upper rosebud is basically done. It's definitely done with the shelters. And any of the feeding stations that have placemats got scrubbed nicely. There's still, I mean, no one uses this, so why do it? And I should do Gwen's, but the one on the other side is not done. But I'll wait and see if the hose is available. Next up, the suburbs. House 1 and 2 have not been done, but House 3 has a couple weeks ago. Yay! Change of plans. Gwen is sitting on house number two. And she doesn't hear me. She must be going deep. Poor little lady. So it's not to bother Gwen. I can do those two houses together easily. I mean, that would probably take an hour or so. But this, the big igloo, is a job and ten halves. <laughs> and it's very heavy to lift up. So, quit complaining and do it! And Midge, being, you know, the paranoid girl she is, she somehow pushed this back so she could come out this way if she had to. Very smart. Born in the woods. So the big igloo is just really a, a big cover for my little canvas two-cat house. And that's got straw in it, so I'll clean that out and try to clean up the stuff around the edges and put it back together. So that's where Midge goes in. She has a back flap. And this straw is so clean. And I love her little tamp down. But straw just attracts bugs in the winter. And she has a slug, so there I decided to get rid of it. Two slugs! Yuck! So now that the straw's out, the floor. Yeah, it needs replacing, and I brought placemats for the summer floor. So because this has been out here a long time, this wood, um, and I don't have another piece this big, and I wouldn't be able to fit it in my vehicle anyway, but I do have other pieces at home, like this guy. So I'm going to put this guy under this guy to give her some height away from that, if that gets watery. So this is a cozy little home. New floor, two entrances. Now I just gotta put that back on so she can get out the back and the front. Big igloo complete. Uh, put down the diatomaceous earth. And it's gonna be a nice place to get out of the rain or away from predators. Next up, the B&B. Sometimes I call it just the B because it is only the bed. The breakfast part got removed when we had a lot less cats because we already have some feeders down this way. All right. Number four. So the straw has to come out for summer. And it's a little bit nerve-wracking to open a roof on May 20th because it could be full of, you know, pretty scary big spiders or something. Alright, full steam ahead. I am pleasantly surprised at how clean this is. Let's see if there's any problems with the floor. Um, yeah, some little guys sleeping there. It doesn't look big enough for a cat. Huh. Okay. I hear you. Yeah, very clean. B&B all done. The floor was in great shape. Turn around and see this little mama, probably. Getting some crunch food. 
It's okay with us. We don't care.